Okay, uh, you're very, very welcome to uh, this virtual open day. Uh, my name is Daniel Savory. I'm Widening Participation Officer at the Access Centre in NUI Galway. And uh, I'm here to talk to you about opportunities for further education uh, and training students. So let me just move the slides. This. Uh, stuck. Okay, there we go. So the outline of what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about a few things, uh, maybe... Uh, just to set the, the scene, I suppose, I'll say a little bit about the policy and strategy with regards to, I suppose, increasing the number of places for further education and training students. I'll talk about some recent developments in the context of, of NUI Galway. We've had quite a few recent developments, particularly with regards to the numbers of students coming in and the number of places that are available. I'll say a little bit about the application process, what you need to do in order to apply as a further education and training uh, student when, when coming to NUI Galway. I'll talk about some recent uh, trends and then at the end what I'll do is I'll leave my contact details for you and if we have an opportunity I'll answer any questions there but I will be back in the Pubble site um, to, be, to, you know, to answer any questions and again I'll leave my email address at the end if any of you want to um, maybe ask me something uh, later on down the line but again I'm happy to talk about anything to do with further education and training. So just in terms of the policy and strategy, it is worth just kind of taking a step back and, and you know, looking at, you know, why there has been such a huge increase in, in interest, I suppose, in further education and training students progressing to higher education institutes and progressing to NUI Galway. Uh, in NUI Galway's last strategic plan, 2015 to 2020, um, we set a target of 24% of students uh, progressing to NUI Galway from traditionally underrepresented uh, groups. Uh, and these are groups that include students who come through the HEAR scheme, the DARE scheme, the mature student entry route, our access programs, and further education and training colleges. So there was a real kind of emphasis, I suppose, on ensuring that we increase the number of places across our full time undergraduate programs for students that had, had either a level five or a level six further education and training award. And in fact, we set up a further education to higher education working group that had, uh, I suppose, members from uh, NUI Galway and members from the further education training uh, sector to look at, I suppose, increasing the number of places and so on. Again, in the context of the Higher Education Authority, which kind of sets the scene for a lot of the work that we do in higher education institutes, in their last national access plan for equity of access to higher education, uh, they stated there was a stated goal within that plan of building coherent pathways from further education um, to higher education. So you ha had a, a kind of strategic kind of initiative at the, the institutional level in terms of NUI Galway. And then you had a strategic initiative, I suppose, from uh, the governing body, I suppose, of, of higher education institutes in the country in terms of the HEA. Outside of that, you know, further education sector itself, which is, I suppose, a lot of the work that it does is, is governed by SOLAS. Uh, they set specific targets around the number of students that they would like to see progressing from, I suppose, PLC courses or further education courses at level five and level six and going on to higher education. So, again, you have the coming together of uh, different sectors looking at this, uh, uh, inst different institutions, and then a kind of a, a national kind of strategy with regards to this as well. And what has that meant? Well, it's meant that the numbers have, I suppose, dramatically increased. Uh, not only in terms of places available, but we'll also see in terms of students who are actually now progressing to higher education institutes with a further education and training award. So if we go back to, for example, before all of this got started, I suppose, in the academic year 16-17, there were only 66 places across all um, our undergraduate programs in NUI Galway uh, for further education and training uh, students. Uh, and now that's gone up to this year, 21 or 2021 it was 225 and i think as we go into the next academic year we're talking about 260 places so you can see that the places are are increasing the opportunities let's say are increasing uh, year on year with an understanding i suppose that further education students have a lot to offer higher education uh, um, uh, universities and, and institutes so if you look at the four colleges that make up nui galway you probably know that from being here at the the open day today you have the College of Medicine, Nursing and Health Sciences. You have the College of Business, Public Policy and Law. You have the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Celtic Studies. And you have the College of Science and Engineering. You can see here, if you look at the bottom figure, figure in blue, that was the number of places that were available back in 16, 17. 
And if you look at the figure in yellow, they're the number of places that were available for 21, 22. So you can just see a kind of a massive increase, a massive focus on providing opportunities, I suppose, for further education and training students. And I should add, just this week, um, although it has not been uh, formally announced yet, uh, but we're working on increasing the number of places for further education students into our engineering uh, program. So we sh should be announcing something like that uh, about that over the over the summer months. So if any of you are interested in engineering in particular, if you'd like to drop me a line, I can give you more details about that. But it just isn't formally up on the CEO website uh, just yet. So if we look at the range of degree programs that are available in NUI Galway, what you can see is if we look at the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Celtic Studies, these are all the degree programs in that particular college. Every single degree program in the college, full-time degree program, uh, undergraduate degree program, the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Celtic Studies has a further education and training uh, entry route. In other words, there are certain places ring fenced across all those programs for students that present with a further education training award. So in some instances, it's one place. In some instances, it's 21 places, as you can see with GY110 there. Uh, but the kind of the norm is maybe two places uh, that are ring fenced. And I'll show you in a few minutes, you know, the extent to which some of these places are, are taken up. If you just look down the right hand side and maybe just flag it just for a second, the yes, no's and all the rest, uh, that indicates whether there's any additional criteria that's required. And I'll explain a little bit what that additional criteria might be uh, in just a minute. So we've got a clean sweep, so to speak, uh, with the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Celtic Studies. Loads of opportunities that are available for further education and training uh, uh, award holders. If we look at the College of Business, Public Policy and Law up there in blue, again, the majority of programmes uh, within that particular college. So GY201, uh, which is Commerce, uh, GY206, you have five places, GY209, two places, again, it varies to some extent in some of the law programs, it's up, up as high as five, but a good distribution of places for, for students that present with a further education training uh, award. If we go down into science, the newly configured, I should, I should say, uh, College of Science and Engineering, every single, I suppose, science program in the old College of Science has a further education training uh, entry route. And as I mentioned at the beginning, we're set to announce a further 30 places across our engineering programs uh, in the coming weeks. And, if, and again, if any of you are interested about that, I'll leave my contact details at the end. Uh, it's, t it's, it's around four places per denominated program. Uh, so I'll be able to give you some more details about that. Uh, and then finally, uh, I suppose the programs that are most sought after uh, are, are nursing programs. Um, and uh, the places that are available there are kind of five, I suppose, distributed across, across the three. Uh, and again, I should just flag as we'll mention in a minute, uh, the, the entry criteria to come into NUI Galway with a further education award is that you have to be doing an award that's aligned with a particular degree program and you have to have at least five distinctions. Those students that end up in nursing, you know, have maybe eight distinctions. They have a lot of distinctions uh, because it's just so competitive. You have hundreds of people applying for so few, so few places. But again, if anybody wants more information about that at the end, I'd be happy to give that as well. Um, so again, I think it's worth mentioning, you know, we've we've tried to, you know, make as many places available across as many programs as possible, but also across many of those programs that would have tr traditionally, I suppose, been high points courses in the Leaving Cert. So, for example, GY 104 uh, has a further education and training uh, uh, entry route. And again, that's the core, the points for that course a couple of years ago was 500. Again, the new degree program in music, 130. We get on to commerce with global experience, which has points in excess of 500. There's a further education and, and training uh, entry route. So we, we, you know, have tried to make as many opportunities as possible uh, available for students who are coming through the kind of PLC or the further education and training uh, sector. And this includes the majority, I suppose, of our, our traditional high points courses in terms of the leave insert. So uh, fantastic time to be applying to NUI Galway on the basis of a further education and training award. So you probably know this if you're doing a further education and training award, but perhaps some of you aren't doing one uh, yet. Um, anyway, Galway has um, a five distinction rule for anybody that's applying on the basis of a further education and training award. In other words, applicants are required to have completed, you know, a, a level five or level six award. We don't recognize level fours. Um, and they have to hold a minimum of five distinctions. So a distinction is 80% or above 
Uh, so you have to have distinctions in, in five modules. And in some instances, some degree programs will kind of stipulate or they'll state that we want you to have distinctions in these specific modules. So it might be, for example, a module in maths or a module in Irish, depending on which particular degree program that you're interested in. I should mention as well what you've done in a previous life. So whether you did a great leave insert or didn't do a great leave insert, okay, doesn't really come into play when you're applying on the basis of a further education and training award. We look at your further education and training uh, qualification. So some, uh, um, I suppose, prospective students would often ask, what about the requirements of coming in, you know, on the basis of a leave insert that you have to have, you know, maths, you have to have, you know, English, you have to have Irish. That doesn't matter. We're looking solely at your results as a further education student. And again, it's worth flagging as well, uh, just like you would apply uh, to the CEO if you're coming in on the basis of your, your leave insert, you'd apply to the CEO uh, on the basis of your further education training award uh, as well. And you would do that typically before uh, February the 1st. So again, we recognize uh, 44 different uh, QQI level mm -hmm. five awards. We recognize 15 QQI level six programs. And I would imagine by the time we get into September, there will be some more programs added there. We're always looking at uh, level five and level six awards and working with our colleagues in the further education sector to see which programs we ought to be recognizing. So for example, if I was doing uh, uh, applied social studies, which is 5M2181 in a further education and training college, I know that I can apply for 25 different degree programs in NUI Galway. If I'm doing general studies, 5M3114, I know that I can apply for up to 22 different degree programs in NUI Galway. And I think it's worth flagging even at this stage that you need to pay attention, I suppose, when you do one of these programs to the particular code. And the code is crucial. The names tend to vary across further education colleges depending on how they market their programs. But the code is the one kind of standard thing. So in our further education guide, and you can see the image down there in the bottom right hand corner, we for the most part just include uh, the codes. So uh, let me give you one example. So I know a further education college in this region uh, that calls a particular program uh, biomedical science, whereas in a different institution, they call it laboratory techniques. But the one thing that stays constant between those two programs is the code. So please just uh, make sure that you know what your code is. And they generally start with 5M if it's a level five and they start with 6M it's a, if it's a level six, and then the individual modules are 5N and 6M within that. So please make sure you're doing an overall award, 5M, 6M, and it's one that's kind of aligned with some of our degree programs. So let me just give you, a, 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 I suppose, a sneak peek at some of the entry requirements and how it looks. So I've already mentioned that we generally just put the codes down there because of this variability when it comes to names across different institutions. So here's GY101, which is Bachelor of Arts. What we can see here that there are 30 places available. So there are 30 places ring fenced on GY101 for students presenting with the Further Education Training Award. And these are the Further Education and Training Awards that we recognize for that particular program. 5M2154, 5M2073, and so on and so on. And in some cases, we leave the old lettered uh, naming convention uh, there as well, because in some institutions that's still used. But the further education uh, uh, sector has moved towards a kind of a numbered convention, naming convention, where everything is 5M uh, or 6M. But you do, do still send, tend to see the odd program with the odd lettered naming convention. No additional requirements there. So you get your five distinctions. Yeah, you're doing one of these awards. You're eligible to apply for uh, GY 101. Okay. Nothing else. You don't have to have distinction in maths, a distinction in English or whatever. It's just you get your five distinctions and you're eligible to apply and you apply on a competitive basis for those 30 uh, places. Uh, GY201, uh, slightly different. So you have 20 places that are available, less programs that are recognized. But crucially, you have that added caveat at the bottom. OK, and the added caveat is only those applicants with a distinction 80 percent or above five modules in the qualification, including a pass in the module 5N1833. So remember I said that the modules are named slightly different with N uh, mathematics, or if you've done great in the leave insert in the past, fantastic. We'll look at your, your leave insert in maths or better will be considered for entry to first year of commerce. So again, what commerce are saying is we want you to have five distinctions, but we want you to have a certain level of maths in your further education award. 
And if you don't happen to have that in your further education award, well, if you've done something in your Leaving Cert in the past that might supplement that, we'll also look at that. So again, your Leaving Cert can come in handy for this entry route, but it's not dependent upon it, if that makes sense, because you could just have done maths in your further education uh, award. Uh, when we get into our science programmes, uh, things get, I suppose, a little bit more prescriptive in the sense that uh, it's more kind of defined around what kind of distinctions we would like you to have. So, for example, here we have some of the programmes that we recognise, 5M3807, which is called, remember, as I said, laboratory techniques in some institutions. And then you have the lettered naming convention for some of these other programmes. And then what we require is that you have distinctions distributed across certain modules. So we want you to have a distinction in maths, and then we want you to have uh, three distinctions in uh, out of the following list that you see here. So if you have a distinction in maths, you have a distinction in chemistry, a distinction in biology, and let's say a distinction in physics, there you've met the entry uh, requirements. But again, uh, rather than like as we saw in GY 101, where you just have to have five distinctions across any of the modules that you're doing, here it's considerably more pres prescriptive that you have to have distinctions within certain uh, modules. Now, I said at the beginning that uh, it's a great time to be applying as a further education uh, award holder, uh, and we're seeing the numbers increase. And these are the numbers, entrance per year, that are coming through this particular entry route. So if we go back to the academic year 15-16, 28 students came through this particular entry route. We've had all of this attention that I mentioned at the beginning around uh, further education uh, students coming to higher education institutes. We have the national policy. We have the anyway Galway's institutional policy. We have Solis's, uh, uh strategic uh, policy, I suppose, with regards to this. And what we've seen is a corresponding uh, increase. So for the academic year 2021, 20, uh, which has just come into a close, 153 students came to this particular entry, which was a big increase, I suppose, in the previous year uh, of 100. And we would hope to see, uh, I suppose, another increase as we go into the next academic year. But bearing in mind, and I should mention this again, that there are 230 places available, which is going up to 260 uh, uh, for 22-23. So we're still not getting to, I suppose, the limit. We're still not exhausting uh, the possibilities of all the students coming through this particular entry. So it's a, it's a golden opportunity, I suppose, to start applying on the basis of a further education and training award. So remember I said to you that uh, not all programmes uh, fill their quotas, not all programs get students through uh, the further education and training entry route. Uh, what this shows you in, in effect is uh, those particular programs that didn't meet their quota. So remember you saw that there are two places available here, there are one place available here and so on. This shows you the number of, I suppose, entrants that came in in the academic year 18, 19 uh, and 19, uh, 20. And I've highlighted the ones in yellow, I suppose, where they didn't meet their quota. So in other words, performing arts studies uh, with arts, GY115, only two places available, uh, or two students came in that year, although there were more places available. And then in the previous year, no students came in at all. So everywhere you see a blank is where somebody didn't come through the further education entry route. Uh, and uh, you can see the numbers are actually quite, quite low. So again, I cannot stress how much of a good opportunity it is to apply particularly when you know some students are not even applying for some particular programs and some degree programs are not meeting their quota, so to speak, of further education and training students coming through this entry route. And so we're increasing the numbers. Um, we'd like more students to apply and uh, hopefully we'll be meeting our quota for further education students uh, as the years progress, I suppose. And maybe you'll play a part in that. And again, as we go down into commerce, I think if we remember commerce had 20 places available, uh, GY21, academic year 1819, only 12 students came in, and the academic year 1920, only nine students came in. So you can see that we're not uh, maximizing the number of students. And those of you that had an eagle eye, I suppose, on, on science, uh, there were four, there were 30 places available in undenominated science. Two came in in 1819, 1920, three came in. I think last year we took in maybe nine, but still it's nowhere near 30 students. And then in every denomination program from GY303 down to 320, there are four places available. And you can see that only a handful of students have come through that, come through that entry route. So again, a golden opportunity to apply, particularly given the fact that some students are not taking up these particular opportunities. 
Now, all the information around this particular uh, entry route we have in our further education uh, progression guide. And what we try to do in that guide, I suppose, is give you, um, you know, something that's handy, that's that's uh, practical for you to look at. So what you can do is if you're doing a level five or level six award, you can find your particular award down the left hand side there. We've included the names, the names as they are defined by QQI, not as they're defined by further education colleges. And you can see the programs that you can apply for having done or doing that particular program. So, for example, if we look at the, the, the second one, uh, 5M2464, which is called Journalism by QQI, you can see that there are quite a number of degree programs that you can apply for if you happen to be doing that degree program or that particular further education um, um, program. And if you go down to, you know, maybe just below halfway, you can see that Applied Social Studies and General Studies, the ones that I mentioned that had something like 25 different programs that you could apply for, or 22 different programs that you could apply for, you can see that there are you know, a huge number of, of opportunities that are available uh, for students. 45 level fives we recognize, I think it was 16 level sixes that we recognize and they're increasing uh, year on year. Again, like I know that some of you have questions and I'll take some of those questions now, but if, if you feel more comfortable, I suppose, in asking me these questions, uh, through email or back in Pubble, uh, uh, back in the chat function uh, for the open day, I'll, I'll happily answer those as well. But our, our guide is probably the best place for you to go to get an appreciation and understanding, I suppose, of the opportunities that are available and whether the course that you're currently doing or the course that you would like to do is likely to get you into higher education. Uh, I should add as well, you know, watch the presses, I suppose, for the next uh, uh, few weeks, for the next couple of months, as we're set to announce over 32 places that are available for students in uh, prospective students across our engineering uh, programs. So I hope that's been uh, instructive. I hope that's been been helpful for you in, in maybe deciding uh, going to NUI Galway. And I'll, I'll happily answer any questions that you have now. If you want to post them in the chat, I'll happily look at them. Or if you want to turn on your microphone, I'll also happily uh, um, chat with you about it as well. Thanks, Anna.